As we celebrate Pride Month right here on GMA this morning, we're taking a closer look at the unique challenges queer couples face and how they make their relationships work. Alex Perez has the advice that they are sharing and the tips that we can all use. More than 5% of Americans now identify as LGBT, and for many of those millions of people, being in a queer relationship can come with unique challenges. Just ask Gabe and Chelsea. They've been together four years. Gabe is a trans man, and Chelsea identifies as queer. We have to um, fight a little bit harder to be recognized as a queer couple because we look like a standard um, cisgender hetero sexual couple and um, I didn't start my transition until I was 35. Having to navigate this new identity has really been sort of um, difficult. Lovebirds Taylor Ray and Libby met in 2018 and have been married for nearly a year. Taylor Ray is pregnant with the couple's first child due in the fall. We're in a nice little bubble in New York, but when we travel to other places, uh, it's a it's a surprising reminder of how different we are and how sometimes just walking down the street together is like a political act. Sue and Allison have been together 23 years, married for six. Keys to their success? Communication is so important. Trust, patience, flexibility. <laughs> Mike and Eric lean on each other when it comes to dealing with family. The interracial couple, married three years, lives in New Jersey. My family is very religious. I have two siblings. They're both married. It's completely different. They'll just invite, you know, everyone to something, and then I'm like, well, I'm bringing Eric. It's just kind of like they still kind of think of him as like this friend or this roommate. And it's like, no, nope, we got married. This is my husband. The journey towards widespread acceptance is far from over, but a new poll shows that support for same-sex marriage in the U.S. is at a record high of 70 percent, up 10 points in the six years since the Supreme Court upheld marriage equality. The couples all say that decision from the Supreme Court made them feel more validated, secure, and hopeful. Just keep showing up, and probably the days that you really don't are the days when you most need to. Being a queer couple means that we're able to understand each other in a much different way. There may be periods of frustration or annoyance or just like we may not see the solution or the light at the end of the tunnel, but we may not necessarily need that light at the end of the tunnel because we have light in between us. So all of these couples facing unique challenges, but it's no shocker that it's love, communication, and support that gets them through even when society is not always there for them. Cecilia. Oh, Alex, thank you so much for bringing us that great story. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.